Hi guys, Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluto channel. Quick wrist watch check. We're wearing a Rolex bluesy, two-tone bluesy. We're doing paid review 24 QA4. This is a review for Christian. Mid 40s guy with an interest in watches. Let's have a look. We're going to run the intro and let's discuss it. Hi guys, Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluto channel. Quick wristwatch check. Two tone bluesy, 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 bluesy. We're doing paid review 24 QA4. Hello, Archie. Let's go through this review here. Hello, Archie. I'd really like your opinion via a paid watch review video on my current small collection plus a small watch to add to the collection. I've sent you 80 Aussie dollars via PayPal. Firstly, thank you for your great YouTube content. I really enjoy your honest and insightful commentary. Background, I am in my mid-40s and only really taken a greater interest in watches since around 2020. In saying that, my first mechanical watch was an Oris Aquas 300, which I purchased in 2015. Not knowing anything about watches other than I thought it looked good, and was well made and not too expensive. I never babied it or serviced it, and it ran uh, and sold it in 2022 for 60% of what I paid. Some might call it a shitter, but it was a solid watch and never let me down. Good old Oris. Yes, indeed there. Oris has got delusions of grandeur recently, but hey, that's the way it goes. Now, let's have a talk about his current collection. What's he got here? Let's have a look. We've got the first baby on the screen here. First one is a Tudor Black Bay GMT SNG. That's steel and gold. Purchased new in 2022 while in Europe one on honeymoon. I typically wear it to work in an office and brought, bought it on a leather strap, and I think it's a bit more formal looking. I had planned to keep it given it was purchased on Honeymoon, but now I'm thinking of trading it in on something. Don't. Tudor has had the shit kicked out of it on the secondary market. Just keep it. Enjoy it. Um, nice watch. I don't know if I would have bought it on the leather strap. I always recommend you buy it on the bracelet and then add a strap. But, hey, not a terrible purchase. It's not terrible. Uh, indeed, it's not a not a terror. You could have done a lot worse than that, Matt, couldn't you? You could have done a lot, 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 lot worse than that. I think you certainly, you certainly could have done worse. Uh, but hey, you know, it is one of these things. What do you do? What do you do? What does a man do? What do you do, man? What do you do? So it's it's a tricky, tricky, tricky tricky situation and i and i i get it i get it you, you want to know what would you do so um yeah I, I i tend to agree with you there uh it's not a terrible purchase i love them i love the steel the thing is they're uh it's got a bit of flair to it they haven't been that popular tudor's more popular in the steel the next piece he's got is a, this is really, really nice. It's an Omega Seamaster. Omega Seamaster 300 black dial. It's got the wave dial. Purchased new in 2023 in, with a good discount. I bought it on a bracelet and also often wear it on this gray NATO for a more casual look. I think it's very versatile with excellent finishing and many high gloss finishes. I bought it over a sub. I don't know if I would go that far, but okay. As it's cheaper, well, cheaper doesn't make it better. 
Mercedes Benz is not cheap in a lot of cars. You can afford Vox, uh, Voxel, a is it Voxel, Voxel, or a Ford, but you know, cheap is not a not a good quality. Cheap Charlie, you don't want to be a cheap Charlie. Uh, it was cheaper, arguably as good technically, and a bit less known as not to attract unwanted attention. Fair enough. Then he's got the Seiko MM300 Quartz Tuna. The Tuna, 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 Tuna. Oh, nice Tuna. These are actually quite nice. Purchased, used, near new in 2021. I liked it as it was discounted Marine Master, and the Quartz is very accurate. And it's a good way to set mechanical watches. I wear it occasionally. Well, just use the interweb. That's how I set my watches. But, hey, the Seiko is nice. It's a tuna. Tuna. Seiko tuna. Then we've also got, this is almost not worth mentioning, it's got a Seiko 5. Seiko 5, this cost me about $250 on special. Then I added an aftermarket bracelet and bezel insert. Oh, okay. I wear it as a beater and on holidays. I don't have to worry about it. It doesn't look and it doesn't look stupid like all those plastic watches. And then we've got something that nobody would ever fucking want. It's a Seiko Quartz pocket watch. Fuck me dead. Fuck, fuck, fuck me dead. Who the hell would want that? I bought this as I thought it would be a cool desk clock with some interesting history it's in excellent condition yeah a quartz pocket watch fuck me dead uh possible additions i can tell you what you need to add is a fucking rolex you need to add rolex that's what you need to add is a rolex you need to add a rolex that's what you need to add man I think I'd like to add a dress watch <clears throat> as I tend to wear larger sports type watches. My wrists are 7.25 inches. As you may have guessed, I'm not keen on spending big dollars with a budget of around 5,000 Aussie. However, if I trade the Tudor, maybe 10,000 used is preferred. Fuck! He must be fun on date night. Uh, long jeans, Dolce Vita. Dolce Vita! Dolce Vita, sweetie. Uh, oh, fuck. You're not going to buy that fucking thing. I am drawn to rectangular watches and think it's a good-looking watch. Long jeans has a good history, a good heritage, but they seem to be priced at the entry level, perhaps not the best. These are around 3000 Aussie. Fuck me, Dad. Stay away from that fucking thing. And a Jager Le Coutre Master. Oh, why wouldn't you go for the Jager Le Coutre Reverso? That's what the fuck I would go for. Fuck me, Dad. I'd go for a Reverso. Ultra Thin Moon Phase. JLC Master Ultra Thin Moon Phase. I'm drawn to the heritage of JLC with their technical focus, and I find the watch extremely elegant. Used, they go for around 10000 You can do a lot fucking better than that. Something else, what would you recommend? Thanks again, Archer. Appreciate your feedback. So... Personally, I would go for a reverso. You can get a reverso for 10. You want to get a big reverso, not a small, weeny, whiny reverso, proper man size reverso. That's what you want, man sized reverso. What do I think? I think on the Tudor, let me give you some advice. The Tudor, don't fucking sell the Tudor. Don't sell the Tudor because you will get fucking handed your asshole on a platter. It's not a it's not a terrible watch, but just keep the fucking thing. The Seamaster, don't be fucking. That's so delusional thinking it's as good as a sub. It's not. It's a beautiful watch, but it's uncool to say that. It comparing it to a sub. The Seiko Tuna Quartz. Yep, I actually these are very very nice pieces. I don't want to admit it, but they are. I had a friend of mine recently deceased. He had. I think that model, he loved his Seiko divers. The Seiko 5, eh, not really into modding, but yeah, I get it. The pocket watch is cute, but don't fucking buy the long jeans. The Reverso, I'd get a Reverso if you like square watches. Reverso, Reverso. And what i got to tell you is you need to add a Rolex. Every man needs a Rolex. Please get a Rolex Explorer 2. That's what you need to add, a Rolex Explorer 2. 
Every man needs a Rolex. Okay, get a Rolex. Please get a Rolex. Not a bad collection. So my advice to you would be keep the Tudor Black Bay Steel and Gold. Keep the Amiga Seamaster 300. I would say, what else? Those two are keepers. The Tuna Quartz, yeah, it's a, I'd possibly sell the fucking thing. Sell the Seiko 5. Sell the Pocket Watch. Get rid of those three fucking things and get yourself a Jager Lacoutre Reverso. Get a grand size because the two small ones, they're fucking too girlish. Girlish. 7.25. That's a decent sized fucking wrist. Decent sized wrist. Get a Rolex and get a Rolex. I'd get a Rolex Explorer 2. Be a man. Be a man. Be a man. That's what you want to do is be a man. That's what I would do. Nice foundation. I like the Tudor Black Bay GMT. I like the Seamaster. Add, add a Rolex Tudor. So add a Rolex Explorer 2, black or white, doesn't matter. And add a Reverso. That's the advice from the Poon Tiff. There you go. That is the advice. That's the advice. Guys, if you are interested in buying or selling a watch in America, I recommend David SW. Guys, don't forget paid reviews. Keep me full time without paid reviews. I can't survive. Get a paid review done now. Okay, guys, run the ad for David SW, and I will see you in the next one. Hi, guys, it's Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to talk to you about David SW. David SW, David SW. Guys, if you are in America, if you are looking for a Rolex watch of your dreams, in fact, if you're looking for a contemporary modern wristwatch, I strongly advise you to look at David SW. Guys, don't play the dealer games. Don't bring in chocolates or crispy creams for your dealer hoping to get a Rolex at retail. It's futile. Please, guys, save your dignity. Keep some pride. Go to David SW. I would highly recommend David SW, David SW. If you're in America and you're looking for a watch, go to David SW, David SW, David SW.